Pisces. Santana. Oh, Pisces. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it's Santana and FKJ. Y'all, I don't know what's going on right now, but something is about to get better is what I'm feeling. Okay, look, Sagittarius energy on the bottom. Ip it, ip it. But uh, yeah, with the balance, but this is a Pisces reading. So, hey Pisces, this is your girl Blue Phoenix here. Thank you for stopping by the channel if you're new. And thank you for coming back if you an A1 since day one. B-E-F, big energy fam, yeah. <laughs> but uh, thank you to everyone who's here today. Um, yeah, y'all, I wanna do a what's hidden or what we don't see or whatever okay what is not seen what is it that pisces wow seven of swords okay that is sneaky energy pisces okay <clears throat> okay i don't know if you're being sneaky <laughs> but i don't i don't think it's you because it's, you don't know about it right you don't know about it yet right okay so yeah that's what i want to do today i want to see what is hidden what we don't see coming Ooh, and celebration hmm sneaky celebration what we celebrate and what you don't see coming what's hidden what is the universe not quite showing you yet but you can feel it i feel it <laughs> that's what i heard i feel it <laughs> okay let's get on one accord real quick pisces okay Whew. holy spirit thank you for this opportunity for me to connect with my pisces gang my pisces fam Help me to tap into their energy, see what I need to see, hear what I need to hear, and get that info back to Pisces in a way where they can utilize it for the betterment of their lives. I thank you to my ancestors, archangels, orishas, spirit guides, and all divine beings of the highest whitest light for the messages, direction, and protection. Uh-oh. Y'all provide me each and every day. All right? I'm, oh, shoot. I'm open to receive messages from the universe. Okay, what I'm feeling so far, Pisces, is that really soon, coming up here soon, okay, in the near future, my messages are timeless, though, and please um, pick up what resonates and leave the rest, okay? You should discern it, which this card is telling me that you look like you, you're about to do anyway. <laughs> the number 231 might be significant to someone, okay? Anyway, um, yeah, but you should discern it, and, you know, if the whole message doesn't resonate pick up the pieces that are yours okay <laughs> all right anyway so yeah it looks like in the near future you'll be using your discernment okay maybe something is trying to be an illusion or something is an illusion here okay something's hidden look that's what we're here for right okay <laughs> all right so we're here for the what's hidden okay so it looks like you're going to be using your discernment to figure the hell out what is hidden okay all right okay all right, I'm hearing, mm, I'm hearing deceit, okay, with this devil right here for surrounded energies on the bottom of the deck. I'm hearing deceit, right, okay, but I'm feeling like whatever this deceit is, whatever this toxicity is, this, I'm hearing, okay, yeah, attachment, okay, I'm hearing like, um, it, whether it be a drug, a person, whatever, okay, it's gonna be different for everybody, but I'm feeling like some kind of way you're gonna, you're gonna navigate away from this is what I heard, okay, I, I'm seeing a compass in the devil's forehead up there this star looks like a compass like it's pointing to something okay yeah okay something's being pointed out to you pisces okay so i'm hearing don't go backwards okay look this clock is right here okay the clock something about time going backwards or something or something even these numbers shit six five four it's going backwards you understand what i'm saying yeah yeah all right so the six five four says follow message to follow the oh, shit bloody boop bop bloody bop bop the message to follow the intuitive messages and guidance you have been receiving about making important changes to your life the efforts you've made towards your goal have manifested new opportunities pisces i actually just made a post okay with this number because i just saw it on my clock in my room right or my phone or somewhere but i, I posted it um so that might be significant okay yeah six five four look that number up it has different meanings you know so anyway, all right, spirit, what else? What's going on? What is this illusion here that Pisces will be using their discernment about? What's this right here, please? I'm feeling like it's some kind of attachment, okay? Some kind of snake, all right? Snake in the grass is what I heard. Look at that thing right there. It looks like a, like, okay, it might be a snake on here somewhere. Yeah, it is, up at the top. Look at that. It's a snake right there. And then it's a lady head. What's the lady head doing sticking out the cup like that? Why her head like that, though? <laughs> 
what is that it looks like somebody peeking into me and then it's a house right there it's a tower okay it's a tower a scorpio might be significant okay or uh, Air, uh, aquarius okay i was about to say aries aquarius libra gemini here with the king of swords okay it could be a masculine energy, but it doesn't have to be, okay? This could just be you using your discernment, okay? But that might be significant to some Pisces. So anyway, okay, I'm seeing these jewels right here, right? And I'm seeing like I'm seeing like a presentation of jewels or something. Like something is not what it seems, so Pisces, okay? Or like um somebody's gonna try to dress something up to make it look good but it might okay i'm even hearing y'all be careful about smoking stuff that's already been like rolled and like drinking from places or or from people excuse me that you don't know of or something like that like i'm just seeing something being hidden in a freaking cup for real like real talk okay but anyway it look like that lady is looking in on that house right there okay i don't know what that is about Okay, and even this thing, I'm not to keep picking it up, putting it down. Even this little this little lizard guy here, he looks like he's looking down at something too. Looking, a lot of looking. Okay, I heard directional, directional or something. Again, okay, so you're being directed somewhere, Pisces, because even on the devil's head, I saw that compass. Okay, and I just heard directional. Okay, lead a pathway or something, okay? All right, Spirit, what are these? What is this that Pisces needs to be aware of? This Seven of Cups, please, okay? Give me the reason by who? James Bay. He says something about dancing. Some of y'all might be dancers, okay? Okay, this is another thing that's like distraction, illusion, um, something to take you off course, okay, Pisces? With the Four of Cups here, something may be from your past, okay? I'm very, hold on, my mouth is stupid dry right now. Hold on for a second. Excuse me. Okay, somebody might be thirsty. Or a water sign might be very significant here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, okay? <clears throat> All right, Pisces. Yeah, that Four of Cups, though, it speaks about, you know, focusing on the past, right? And missing what's what God has in front of you, okay? Like, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, like, yeah, like, because the four, wow, and then you got the angels, I'm telling you, you being directed right now on whatever you're doing, okay? I'm hearing, excuse me, protection. Yeah, I'm hearing protection. Okay, and it pointed me back to this, this card. You might want to screenshot it, okay, maybe, I don't know. 654. What I was saying in this message during 654, okay? Six minutes and 54 seconds. I don't know what that's for somebody. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I was laughing at that time. <laughs> I don't know. Some of y'all might need to laugh or something. Wow. Manifestations, okay? So the Seven of Cups is clarified by manifestations. You get clear on how to manifest something. You're about to get clear on how to manifest something, Pisces. Oh my gosh. Brev, literally message to follow the intuitive messages and guidance you have been receiving about making important changes in your life the efforts you've made towards your goals have manifested new opportunities i'm telling you pisces baby get ready you about i'm telling you and then they, they like look at it okay the clock the clock get ready tick, 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 tick. the clock it's a net crawling on my table right now i'm telling y'all have monitoring spirits around y'all if not spirits then uh, if there is someone there there are i hear onlookers okay okay onlookers right all right uh, something about onlookers or something okay something about that all right so what is this eight of swords about pisces that's on the bottom of the deck this is being this is like barriers and okay okay this is the eight of swords okay what okay hold on i'm sorry y'all hold on i'm talking to spirit <laughs> hold on He said, you ain't shot shit. Get your stats up. What are you talking about, sir? Somebody's name might be Vince, okay? This is Vince Staples and Lil Baby East Point Prayer. Okay, prayer. That's that manifestation, that speaking, that writing, that doing is what I'm hearing, okay? This Eight of Swords, though, is, it speaks of, like, 
obstacles and barriers. So I feel like some of y'all may have had some trouble trying to manifest something that you've wanted. Okay, the um the master number eleven card is right here. That's the next card on the deck. Okay, and you know what I'm saying. Um, and this it says karmic at the top. Okay, so whatever this is that's going on right now, Pisces, this is some type of lesson. Okay, that's what I'm seeing right now. This is a lesson on how you to what some about to use your mental abilities or something about your thank you god okay mindset okay something about your mindset you're figuring that shit out you might have been in this energy or you might still be in this shit right now but i'm telling you you about to break free out of this shit i'm telling you bruh okay you finna figure some shit out i'm i hear tinkering like bob to build this type shit i don't know you might like to wear freaking overalls i don't know what are we talking about here but anyway something about something about mr fix it okay um a fix it man a, a you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be... No, one second, baby. You're going to be... Uh, and then I just got interrupted. That might be a, a, a symbolic. You understand what I'm saying? Some, um, something is being interrupted right now, okay? Something is being interrupted. Something is being placed on pause. Something is like, hold up, hold up, wait. Or something was, is what I'm hearing, okay? But I'm I'm feeling like you're figuring something out. And spirit is really nudging you and, and, and telling you to go forward, whatever this is, Okay? I feel like you might have, I don't know, some kind of, so, okay, judge. Okay, thank you. They they said judge, and I forgot this judge card is right. They said judgment, but I forgot. Um, when I did my pre-shuffle, the judge card is out. Judgment, okay? Some type of awakening to where you need to go, which route you need to go. Okay, I'm telling you, it's just going to come. It's going to come like I heard a thief in a night, but I don't mean it in a bad way. It's kind of weird. They're pulling me to this for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, pink might be significant. The color pink, your heart heart chakra i don't know of uh, crystals okay i don't know okay <laughs> but anyway the karmic number master number 11 um it speaks of spiritual awakening enlightenment high energy idealism inspiration intuition mysticism yeah <laughs> manifest it baby shoot okay but you know mysticism is more than that but anyway uh, like witchy type shit you know what i'm saying Ooh, mystical you know what i'm saying okay somebody might like mystical um contribute uh contribute your unique perspective and philosophy okay sagittarius might be somewhere in your chart or you might be um connected to a sagittarius all right but anyway <laughs> It says contribute your unique perspective and philosophy to integrate a new consciousness. Oh, on the bottom Pisces, it says lead others. I love this shit. Up under here, look, it says Burkana. Okay, birch. All right, that's the rune. Okay, the rune birch. It means fertility, growth, renewal, creativity, new beginnings, birth, creation, new projects. Yeah, yo, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro, this is what you don't see coming. What is hidden? What is off in the cut? Ducked off in the cut. Seriously, bro. I'm telling you. I feel it, okay? All right, I'm hearing somebody say, well, damn it. I don't feel it. <laughs> I don't feel it. I understand. Okay, I understand, Pisces. I don't know if I said it already. I probably said every video. I am a Pisces. I get it. The 12th house is ruled by Pisces, okay? All right? It's governed by Neptune. Literally, our house, okay, the house is the house of sacrifice and subconscious. It's the house of karma, invisible, invisible. It has two karma cards because you had 11 right here. That's two things about karma. And then you have judgment here. Karma, karma, karma. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Right here it says, I look for you everywhere, okay? I look for you everywhere. So you might, oh, shit. I'm mm, sorry. Hold on. I'm getting... Spirit, I feel spirit very strong right now. All right, so folks, prosperity, luck, abundance, hope, wealth, fortune. Pisces, something big is about to come in, baby. Something big is about to come in. Okay, look, DMX is praying. It's something about you praying, connecting with your spirit guides, staying connected with your spirit guides, okay? All right, um, being grateful is what I'm hearing, okay? Because something, baby. I just feel very much like rushed, like not even like I'm being rushed, but like whatever this is, is like Knight of Swords, like Eight of Wands, like, you know, it's like I'm coming now, okay, but it's it's, it's kind of towerish at the same time, I don't know how to explain it, Scorpio, yes, okay, a Scorpio might be significant, you know, that's the Tower card, it's the Scorpio card in the Tarot deck, okay, and that's what I'm seeing, all right, it's gonna be all of a sudden, Pisces, something that's gonna come to you, something's gonna come to the light, is what I'm hearing. Some, something's coming to the light. 
All right? Yeah. All right, spirit. All right. Anything else you need to tell Pisces? All right. Invisible enemies, suffering, reckoning, ultimately evolution. All right. We also are the house of psychological fears, faced and chosen isolation and subterranean impulses. Okay. I don't know what subterranean impulses mean. I don't know, but I am impulsive though. I am. I'm also a procrastinator. Okay. <laughs> Where did this go? Okay. Anyway, Pisces. Um, what else does Pisces need to know? Spirit, let's close this message out, please, for Pisces. All right. What do they not see coming, Spirit? What is hidden? What's cut off in the... Look at this shit. Mother... Yara. 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 Okay. Harvest, baby. Okay. Whatever this was, this, 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 this cloud that you could... You see that? That whatever was not seen, babe. Like, whatever you... The, the, I heard the lack. The lack. Okay, L-A-C-K. Um, <laughs> excuse me, the lack. That's what I'm hearing. It's 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 like it says, okay, yeah, I'm so excited. This song, the song. Alright. Give me your number. Anita and Ty Dollar sign. The number 727 might be significant. You might want to look that up. Alright. But it says the year, conclusion, harvest, life cycles. Okay, karma, once again, it's karma. Your karma, your good karma is coming in. All right? Believe that shit. You understand me? It's all about your mindset, bruh. Manifest that shit, Pisces. Connect with your spirit, guys, babe. They're listening. They say, I got your number. All right? Like, hey, what you doing? Real talk. <laughs> I'm serious. But anyway, it's a life cycles, endings, and beginnings. That scorpionic energy. Okay. Learnings, growth, and abundance. I'm feeling very much here. Scorpio and Sagittarius energy. You got Gemini right here, though. And Aquarius, Libra, Gemini um, right here as well. All right. I think uh, DMX might be a Sagittarius. I'm not sure, though. Don't quote me on that. You might want to look that part up, too. All right, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for... Um, this message spirit is there anything else all right sade the lead okay a capricorn might be significant <clears throat> excuse me is king okay that's two things that that's that a leo might be significant too okay on the bottom of the deck you got niggas with attitudes look at this shit yeah that's funny <laughs> Uh, I'm telling you, I feel watchers. You might have a lot of suitors, is what I heard, okay? Or a lot of people, like, watching you. Not in a bad way, Pisces, no, okay? I ain't talking no crazy shit. No, I'm talking about, like, watching you, like, like come, I heard come up, okay? Some of y'all might be musicians. This says tour on here, rap music, all right? <clears throat> yeah. You heard him. You are worthy. Do you hear me, Pisces? You are worthy. This is Phil Wickman. Worthy of my song. Okay? All right, Pisces. Woo, baby. And y'all look a good. Fountain of you. I'm telling you, some people may think you're taboo. Some people may think you might be witchy. Some people may think you might be occult-like or something for some of y'all. Okay? Like a mystic. Okay? Mystic. Yeah. Some of y'all might be mystics. Okay? mystic mystic pisces i love y'all please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'm excited about whatever this is that's coming in for y'all if you're interested in going deeper in the reading you could contact me for a personal reading everything's listed down below in the description box i hope to hear from y'all soon or see you again in the next video so that means you gotta subscribe right okay and turn on post notifications i will see y'all again later i love y'all pisces bye boo <laughs>